And we are joined by Sanjay Chadda, who's uh, an advocate of the Supreme Court of India. Thank you very much, Mr. Chadda, for being with us. Now, uh, happy Constitution Day to you. Uh, also, how does uh, the Indian Constitution know, uh, you know, ensure the protection of fundamental rights? Let's start with that. First of all, my heartiest congratulations to each Indian, everybody here and uh, to all our listeners on this Constitutional Day, National Law Day, as we call it. Now, coming back to your question, how our Constitution uh, gives protection to uh, the most important right, which is fundamental rights. And uh, we must know the, 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 the important provisions, important provisions of fundamental rights are enumerated, are present in part three of the constitution and to protect these rights there is a special special provision by way of various writs which are which we can go and file in the high courts and right. specifically if there is a violation of fundamental right we can straight away go to the supreme court under article 32 of the constitution but that is what uh, uh, very, very importantly enshrined in the Constitution. If I may go to the Constitution per se, right. because today is the Constitution no, no, let, Day. Let me, let, me, let me just ask you, uh, you know, we'll break it up slowly. Let's now go to the preamble. You know, how does the preamble in a way reflect the core values and the vision uh, for the country as a future? Look, preamble uh, gives a gist of the entire constitution. What is the motive? What is the objective? What is there in the, what is the spirit of the constitution that is mentioned in the preamble? And preamble very specifically mentions the rights, equality, right to equality, and, and so on and so forth. Everything they have mentioned and what is the nation's objective and how we have to grow further as how we have to take everybody together. That's what is in a very gist of the constitution is okay. mentioned in the preamble. If you have to know what is there inside the constitution, you just read one page. That is our preamble of the constitution. That's what... Indeed. Uh, and how does the constitution balance, uh, let's say, the, you know, the powers between the center and the states? That's also something that perhaps, you know, our uh, international audience would like to know. Wonderful. This is a very important thing. Like our constitution provides a very specific separation of power. But this is, uh, separation of power is very nicely defined. But despite that, if any of the limb of the government, you know, we can broadly divide these limbs into three. One is uh, uh, judiciary, other is legislature, and third is executive. And if any of these limbs, three limbs, overreach the other like something some law is passed i give an example here some law is passed and that law is ultra virus to the constitution the supreme court that is the judiciary or the high court constitutional court can go into the detail and can held this law as ultra virus to the constitution and set aside that particular law also. So balanced of power, if executive, like very recent judgment of bulldozer, you know, mm. uh, uh, three, four days back, we were discussing about that also. Right. Executive was passing an order through which without giving a power, uh, without giving any uh, opportunity to be heard, a person is punished. So that the Supreme Court said that no principle of natural justice is utmost and we have to follow that. And Supreme Court stuck such provisions, such powers and said that it, such powers are against the spirit, true spirit of the Constitution. So there is a very nice provision. There are very nice provisions which are not only separate the powers, number one. Number two, if there is an over uh, uh, overreached or some bit, some of the limb has done something which is not within the power, which is ultra virus to the constitution, which is against the spirit of the constitution, then such provision, such power will be strike down. So those are so, between the different uh, wings of government, but uh, also, I mean, between the center and the state, after all, we are a federal government, a federal structure, a union of states. Uh, you know, how is this different from different uh, from other countries of the world? 
Well, first of all, we have very nicely defined every, you know, every, we have subjects, let's say on each, each uh, like central government is there and the state government is there. Both of them have been given separate Lo uh, like lawmaking power is there. So states have their own list, central has their own list, and there is a concurrent list also where both right. the both of them can make laws. So a very strict def uh, demarcation is made, which is to be followed by uh, all the uh, uh, states as well as by the central government. So yeah. very nice uh, Demarcation is also given there, which right. is a strict sense of followed always. And once there is any problem, let's say some overreaching is there, then in that case, based upon the situation, judiciary will intervene and can, uh, you know, uh, sort out the confusion. So you've uh, clearly uh, explained for us the separation of powers also between the center and the states and the different wings of the government. But, you know, uh, let's look at... Uh, uh, the constitution promoting social justice, equality. You know, we have such a diverse population in our country. How does the constitution give us direction for that? Look, sir, there are sir, the broadly there are two three things which I want to mention it in that mm. there are like this constitution itself gives us the power of you know the power of affirmative action. Right. Where the the government the lawmaking bodies can make certain provisions for certain people like which are backward, which are SC, STs, backwards, OBCs. For them, special affirmative action can be taken. Backward people have to be pushed a little up and government will support them. That is what is right to equality. So these, this is similarly religion. We are you know, the, we, we, we always feel proud that this is the country, uh, our country is uh, uh, where it's a home of so many religions. We are not having only one religion with us. We mm. have several religions and the beauty of this constitution, beauty of this nation is that we all live together and the constitution give special rights to the minorities, the pe people who are in less in number, they have been given protection by the constitution. The specific, specific provisions, Article 40, uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, and right. up till 30, uh, art, uh, up till Article 30 of fundamental right, specifically mention the right uh, to the minorities based on religion, linguistic minorities, and so on and so forth. So there is a, speci uh, a, a great, uh, these all provisions are really great, but I want to say one more thing. This constitution came, you know, our constitution is very flexible. That is mm. another Indeed. beauty, I would say. In fact, that's a question that I was wanting to ask you, you know, why is the constitution living and progressive as the, prime, as the president has described it today? Uh, is it just the amendment process? Is it the judicial interpretation which gives it some sort of direction? Or, uh, you know, there's also this intrinsic uh, vision which is there, like the directive principles and things like that, which gives it, uh, you know, guides the policy for the future and the laws. Very nicely you yourself have explained everything. But uh, very nicely I can say that, yes, there are, judicial interpretations, there are directive principle of state policies, there is, though separation of power is there. And and as, as I said, that law is a dynamic thing. Law is not static. It will not remain static. We see the technology, digitalization, all has happened so fast and with such a pace that our constitution has, despite all that developments have kept its pace with it. And uh, we have successfully, you know, by virtue of various judicial pronouncements, we have seen today, if uh, if I, I, I may say one line, that right. today the word is drawing its its power from our uh, judicial pronouncements where, and our progress in, uh, you know, uh, uh, like judicialization of the courts and Supreme Court has done humongous work on that. Sure. And we are on the path of it. We are every day progressing. The data is developing every day. One or the other thing is happening every day, if I may say so.
So, Indeed. so uh, 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 what about the constitution and its accessibility to the people? Uh, you know, in different languages, for instance. And today, uh, also, there was the, uh, you know, the, the copy of the constitution is out in Sanskrit and in Maitri. It's sort of like linking the past with the present and the future as well. So, yes, that is, that is another, uh, you know, uh, because today is the constitution day. So, I, we are on the, on, on each and every, these, all these points are really, uh, uh, you know, giving us again a happiness that yes, you know, all those languages which are there in the seventh schedule, they, these uh, languages have been, uh, uh, sorry, on, in the eighth schedule, they are being, they are being, in all these languages, our constitution is there today. Today, Prime Minister, uh, our President, Vice President and all, uh, you know, leader of opposition, everybody was there on the dais when these two uh, language constitution were uh, opened and released. So that's another, uh, yeah. another beauty, I must say. So, so that with this kind of documentation, with this kind of reach that each and every, you know, person who is down the line will get uh, to know what is there in the constitution and what are the rights and what are the duties an individual has. So that right. certainly is a, a very, very positive thing. Uh, uh, also, there are different people who are called constitutional authorities. Uh, and they are all mentioned, their roles are mentioned in the, in, the, in the constitution, right? From the president, you know, down to, let's say, the comptroller and auditor general. There's the election commission, there's the justices of the courts, the, the governors of states. All these, uh, how would you look at, you know, the, the roles of these people and in trying to, uh, let's say, the separation of powers also and giving them the strength to act uh, independently? The most important thing is this, that none of these officials, none of, be it the, 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 the highest legal officer of the country, be it all the constitutional posts, posts they are independent. They are not under any pressure. They work with, within the given uh, uh, the provisions of the constitution and they are the constitutional bodies like election commission. Who can think of having election of such a big land mass where large, such a large number of, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, voters are there. So election commission is there. And it is an independent election commission because of the strength which comes from the, so the, 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 the prime document, the, the constitution of India. So I feel uh, all these bodies, all judicial pronouncements we see dynamic and many a time we have seen the judgments going against the government. Why it happens? How it happens? How if the government is there, then it should go in favor of the government? No, because of the spirit of the constitution. That what rule of law? What is rule of law? What is uh, you know how checks and balances we have to adopt? That right. is what is uh, there in the spirit of constitution, and that is the strength which is provided by our own constitution, I feel. Well, thanks very much, uh, Mr. Sanjay Chadda, advocate of the Supreme Court, for joining us. And I know that you're a chess enthusiast, so let's hope that, uh, you know, Gokesh can pull one back from Ding yeah, Living today. We, last night, I was uh, w watching the entire match, but unfortunately, there were little quick decisions which he has taken he doesn't play that right. uh, that uh, that is not his style which he so plays he's coming but back today let's him, hope for that yes he will he will right okay we leave it there thanks very much mr chadda for being with us